Hello, welcome to Universal Love Law. I want to let you guys know that I am doing the positive traits for each zodiac sign. So uh, I did the negative traits and uh, I want to do the positives now. And the thing about the negative traits is all of those characteristics do not apply to you sun, moon, rising people that have those signs. I'm going to do Gemini now, but um, all of these positive traits do not either, okay? So just because someone might not embody those more negative traits does not mean that they're embodying all of these more positive traits. A lot of the time, these traits are developed through experiences in life that makes them make them move towards their more positive um, aspects versus utilizing their lower root, you know, and their more jaded traumatized energy more negative energy so uh let's talk about the gemini energy on a positive level and the positive qualities knowing that there's a spectrum to all and too good too much of one of these qualities can turn into negative so knowing that and being balanced in that having your awareness in that right so gemini these people are mutable air so this makes them extremely adaptable to uh, people places circumstances okay so the mutableness is makes them like a chameleon right so they're able to go with the flow in an air like way so in a very communicative way so they adapt to a lot of situations which actually makes them very unique and restless so they could always be on the go transforming in whatever arena which is helpful for people or where they're going right but sometimes it could take a toll on them so knowing to have that balance and give themselves mental breaks is very important these people are very intelligent wordsmiths they're very in tune with these with the, um learning new words and using unique words in communication so these people are also like i said intelligent on a mental level and strategic so their their ability to their ability to make sense of the world around them is based on their observations of the world early on there they could be very they could be so talkative or so willing to create relationships with people and not even for the relationship but just for the experience so these people bring forth a liveliness and a very fun, lighthearted energy to any social group. So that makes them social butterflies. Um, another thing is their nervous energy because they are ruled by Mercury. They co-rule Mercury with Virgo. So, um, so their nervous energy can actually produce good instincts, believe it or not. So basically what that means is like, People, Geminis that are very in tune with their nerves, you might see them biting their hands or always, you know, in tune to like something, just being in tune with this, with the energies around them and the nervousness in their bodies. And this is, this is not just because they're ruled by Mercury. They're very in tune with the feeling, their feelings, their self, their inner self. So usually when they get extremely nervous, it's a good it's a response from spirit or whatever one would call it their gut instinct their you know fight or flight like something making me feel strange and they're tapped into the collective so this is on a higher octave they're tapped into the collective conscious so they're able to uh sense when things are not right because it deals with the mind these people are very mental sun moon and rising gemini people they're in tune with the mental realm the mentality of others right so their nervous energy actually produces a great instincts instinct for them so it's not always just a bad thing right um they are the life of the party usually uh when they are in a very when they know everyone they're very comfortable they're laid back but they're all around the party so they make sure to stop and say hi and speak to everyone. So whereas their opposite as a chair, the life of the party. It's like every time you look up, you hear someone cracking up. Usually it's the Sagittarius. They echo that positive, fiery passion out to 
the group whereas the gemini they go around communicating with each individual person on their level they're very adaptable so they usually are able to connect with people on their own unique individual level right so uh they could be very understanding to others so they're emotionally detached but they love to communicate and they love to be stimulated mentally so they are, will naturally um they will naturally desire to have conversations and be very understanding and empathetic at least showing that but they might not be so emotionally in tune with you they may be actually in tune with what you're saying more than how you're feeling but show that they care about how you're feeling through their communication style right they're very unique and quirky in that way not as quirky as like a bizarre like aquarian energy but uh, this quirky energy where it's like um, upbeat, but like detached, you know, still caring, like they give off this persona as that at least. So their curiosity makes them extremely clever people learning how to figure things out and solve problems. So what a lot of times people say, oh, Gemini's are so clever, like they're really smart. Uh, or they 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 know how to think three four steps ahead of another person because they are very curious and they are also natural analyzers because they're ruled by Mercury so they're able to get a sense and understanding of how people operate and how people think and so the psychology of people and so they're able to figure people out. <laughs> Uh, also, if they channel that into uh, working with their hands, which, you know, they really shouldn't be doing that too much. Gemini rules the hands, and so they are prone to carpal tunnel, but, or like joint problems. So, but if they're working with some type of um, tools or something, like they could really be in tune with figuring how, out how things operate. So, you know, or even programmers right uh, just being able to dive deep in but the thing is too about the gemini they they definitely should stay on surface level because the one moment that they get too in depth with things usually their mercury energy won't allow them to do that i mean their uh gemini mutable air energy will not allow them to do that they'll usually eventually get bored of it and want to like understand something else like okay i get the basis of that and i'm done now you know so they're very versatile being able to uh change uh they are very prone to change instant change to new scenes new people they desire newness um new environments new uh friendships they just sometimes get so bored of the old and they need to just get into new. They're always in the metamorphous stage of life. So they're ever-changing people. Um, so they also have a unique ability of communication. That's like their gift, their talent. And they don't do it consciously. They're subconsciously... Um, Sorry, guys, they're subconsciously they're subconsciously great communicators and unique communicators um, because they're very in tune with the flow of conversating um, and they're usually quick witted. So witted. So they're witty being able to make a joke on the spot or um, make connections throughout the conversation. Very analytical communicators, uh, unique style of expression. In relationships, they are um, intellectuals and they are um, mentally stimulate their partners. So they desire partnerships where they can just get lost in the thoughts and, and expression. So that is my positive traits for Gemini. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Peace.